Last year, the government implemented the controversial minimum unit pricing for alcohol. However, alcohol sales have actually risen in the last 12 months by 1.8 million units. So have the Scottish people rejected minimum unit pricing? Let's find out. I think if they want it, they'll still get it. Regardless of how much Regardless it costs. Regardless of how much it is, I hope. Mm. I'd say it's overhanded. I think it's people are drinking more now going out to drink more because you're actually just as cheap on a night out now as you are buying a cheap bottle of booze. I come from Drumchapel, so it's like an area where it's relatively poor um, and people want to get drunk quick and they want to get drunk for cheap. Um, and I think we have to analyse that. I don't think just putting the price up for some alcohol is going to make that much a difference on its own. I think there's been an increase of 1.8 million units of alcohol mm -hmm. sold. Mm -hmm. So that just proves its point. So they're still buying no it. If they put it up, they'll still buy it. They'll still buy it. They'll still buy it. I think there might be a lot of contributing factors to that, like that good summer we had last year, that has something to do with it maybe. I think the young ones don't, they've got plenty of money. So the young ones will only, they'll yeah. spend. There's kids turning 18 like every day exactly. and they want to buy drink. So that's what they're after, like. Mm -hmm. What is the absolute maximum that you would be willing to pay, either for a bottle of white wine, for example, or maybe four, four cans of average lager? About three pounds. My spend is 12 pounds. I think, see, looking at this, I think 549 is a, something that I'll happily pay and, you know, go get pissed. 25 pounds. Seven pounds. Maximum I'd spend four cans of fiver. The max I would spend is 20. It's 6 99 in a moment of desperation, one minute to ten on a Sunday night, what is the absolute maximum that you would pay? Fifteen quid? Wow. Fifteen quid, eh? Now that's what I call commitment.